Well, a delay in COVID-19 vaccine shipments has forced some vaccination stations to close. Other sites are still open. Elizabeth Alvarez is live at Cal State San Marcos Vaccination Center with an update on what is happening there. Good morning, Liz. Hey, Liz. Hi, good morning. Well, this is certainly very exciting, especially for our teachers and those who work in the education sector, because here on the campus of Cal State San Marcos, right next door to the sports center, we're inside of a building that houses this auxiliary gym. This is where, as of today, starting today, teachers and those education employees have the opportunity to come and get the COVID-19 vaccine. This is a site that is run by Sharp Healthcare. And we've got the CEO of Sharp Grossmont Hospital here. Scott Evans is joining us. He also is the director of the vaccine rollout, if you will, for Sharp. Good morning to you, Scott. Thanks Good so morning. much for taking the time to chat with us. What an operation this is going to be. And this is definitely going to be a welcome site for so many teachers that are going to walk in the door here this morning. Tell us about what's going to happen here today. Well, we have about 800 to 1,000 appointments set up for today. Um, we are actually partnering with Palomar Healthcare. Uh, this is really their area of service, and so uh, we welcome them as partners. Um, we have uh, really focused on the education sector, working with Viba uh, to get these appointments ready, and we're all set and ready to open at 11 o'clock. Fantastic. And you said close to about 1,000 teachers will have their vaccines today. They come in, and right behind you, yeah. we see the very organized and detailed setup and there's a lot of thought that goes into how the process happens can you walk us through absolutely. it absolutely because i understand yeah. you have registration that's first when we they do. walk you through the door so as people walk in they're queued in through stanchions they go through the registration process which is actually quite simple and then they're queued to different vaccinators i was explaining uh, earlier that today's tablecloths are orange because we're giving out pfizer and that's color coded uh, a color coded system that that sharp has used at all of its sites uh, if it were a different vaccine we would use a different color uh, tablecloth so that our pharmacy can target the right drug to the right table um, and and then they'll come out here for monitoring and this is the area where folks will wait the, the, the typical 15 minutes or so to make sure that there is, you know, no reaction. And, and should there be some sort of a reaction over to the side here, there is a, uh, a section that's uh, obviously there's curtains. It's going to be very private. There's going to be uh, physicians standing by to assist those who may need uh, some additional assistance. Um, you know, in terms of the logistics, it just seems that things have run very smoothly for Sharp Healthcare in terms of the vaccine rollout. Why do you think that is? I understand that you're getting a pretty positive response. Yeah, well, it certainly takes a lot of work and a lot of planning. We have a very organized team. I think part of it is that we've opened up multiple sites, right? And so this is our fifth site that we're, when we partner with Palomar on this site, this will be our fifth uh, sort of big site that we operate. And every morning, actually, at 9 o'clock, we get together. We talk about what's going to happen that day from all of the sites. Uh, we get on a, a Zoom conference and do that. And then we learn from each other. So if one makes, a, a, if one has an issue at one site, we learn about that. We develop what the solution will be to that. And then we implement it at all of our sites. I think that, along with, you know, sort of forecasting and strategizing about how we use the vaccine, when we get it in, uh, making sure that we don't really open for those appointments until we get those, that vaccine in, which is sometimes a little bit trying, right? Because people are on, on the uh, internet really searching for appointments and they say, oh, you don't have any appointments. If we don't have vaccine, we're not going to open up those appointments. Then, of course, those second dose appointments, which, which take an incredible amount of vaccine as well. Fantastic. All right. Well, we are here. We appreciate you allowing us to be here. Uh, we have one more live report coming up in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, where we'll talk some more about the process. And keep in mind, uh, Lauren and Paul that, you know, this you'll also hear of uh, this type of clinic referred to as a VBA clinic. It's because it's specifically for those educators, those in the education sector. And there's really, uh, according to the numbers, we're told close to 80 
50,000 that will have the opportunity to get vaccinated uh, through this type of Viva clinic or program. So today, it's a new day here at Cal State San Marcos, right here for the first time on this campus, right next to what was traditionally the superstation. Remember the superstation that we've been reporting on for the past several weeks, uh, if not now going on a few months. Uh, this today here is specifically for the teachers and those in the education sector. So we're live here in Cal State San Marcos and we'll have some more coverage and some more details coming your way in a little bit. All right. Thanks, Liz. All right, Liz, thank you. Certainly making good use of that campus throughout this uh, whole thing, right? Absolutely.